this shoe might be the end of Air Jordan 4 hype. I'm talking about the Kraft Air Jordan 4. Okay, that is a pretty bold statement, but the reason why I say that is, these things are sitting on shelves everywhere. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show. So before we start reviewing this sneaker and going over all the details, you know we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1989, Michael Jordan took the court in the Air Jordan 4s, and we saw four different colorways during that time. The Fire Red 4, the Black Cement 4, the White Cement 4, and the Military Blue. And ever since those four releases, the Air Jordan 4 has been on a lot of people's lists when it comes to their all-time favorite models. I recently made an Air Jordan 4 Explained video where we go over all the different cuts and iterations of the Air Jordan 4s, and earlier this year, we saw a new model Model of the Jordan 4 in the craft iteration in the gray colorway. And now months later, we have the olive colorway. And honestly, I thought a lot of people would think this pair was better than the gray ones. And these will probably sell out maybe within like a few days, but they've been out for a while and they're still sitting on shelves in a lot of sizes too. But either way, I thought this sneaker was dope and I wanted to add these to my collection. So I did. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio so you guys can see all the details. So looking at the box right here, we have seen this treatment recently on the retro Air Jordan 4s. Over the past, let's say, year, two years, and what they're doing is, instead of having the lift-off lid, you have the hinge on the lid right here. You got the all-over cement print speckled throughout with the glossy finish, and then you have the matte olive color here to match the color and aesthetic of the shoe. And then you have the white text with the sail color Jumpman in the center of that. Now looking at the size tag right here, it says Air Jordan 4 Retro SE for Special Edition, and then Craft. And the colorway on these is Medium Olive Pale Vanilla, size 13, just for me. And retail on these was two. 210 bucks. Now lifting open the lid of the box right here, you got the olive on the inside and then you got their cement print paper and peeling that back, you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So first impression of this sneaker, when I saw these online, I was already like on the fence about the gray craft fours and I actually had those in my collection, but I ended up trading them away. And I was like, yeah, it's another, you know, it's cool, but I like the cool gray fours more. But then when I saw these, I was like, these are dope. And I think it's simply because of the color switch up. Again, there's some couple things that I may not like about the shoe, but overall, we don't get to see too many all green fours like this, besides the undefeated fours, which is not even a release and way too expensive. That's like a $40,000 shoe. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, you got your classic Air Jordan 4 outsole. You got your hair and bow traction throughout the front and the back end. Your center pod is gonna be white right here. Then you have that cream color Jumpman match and the Jumpman right here on the top of the box. Same thing with the pod in the middle of the foot. And then you kind of got that more of a like greenish gray type color right here on the front end around the toe and around the heel. Now wrapping to the side of the foot right here on the midsole, this is actually like a sail color or maybe they, I guess they call it vanilla. It's definitely not a pure white. And then if you look at the air unit on the inside, that looks more like a pure white if you ask me. Now going to the upper, this is something that some people like and some people don't. But one thing that I can say is when it comes to the craft series, they always come correct when it comes to the materials. Recently over the past few years, we have seen a lot of sneakers releasing a lot of sneakers releasing but what I can say is Jordan brand has definitely been stepping it up because if you guys remember back in the 2015 to 2017 era they were releasing a lot of terrible retros they were bad quality bad materials bad shapes you name it so Jordan brand stepping it up they're giving us that classic 89 cut for the Air Jordan 4 we're getting that back on all the models they're coming correct with the materials and the different designs so again I cannot complain but at the same time I do understand why these are still sitting on shelves so looking at the upper right here you have a mixture of a few different materials so Looking at the hairy suede, you have that wrapping around the front end, around the toe area, and it's gonna look like patches, kind of like it's custom, like it's crafted together, whatever you'd like to say. Now going to the collar area, you have that same hairy suede right here on the inside of the foot around the ankle, and then that goes around the eye stay area right here on the front end of the shoe. And then for your nets, instead of having nets, you actually have more of like an embossed type of printed hairy suede right here. Kind of like it's a stamped print within the suede. And then that also goes on the tongue as well, right here on the front end of the shoe. So typically wherever you would see nets, they still created that concept, but didn't actually add the nets. Now just above this hairy suede right here, you have more of an olive tone suede that's wrapping around the entire foot over the toe right here on the vamp and then around the side end, around the heel, and then on the outside of the foot on around the collar area, around the side, around the ankle, that actually is gonna be your regular suede as well right here. And there's a little patch. Now this little patch, this little square patch, I just, like, just, 
do everything else but just take the patch off and it would have just been so much better but again i can't complain because if you're wearing pants and it's covering it up i get it you may not see it whatever some people love it some people hate it it's just i don't know you know what i'm saying that's kind of what was throwing it off for me on the gray pair too but this olive pair i actually think i'm gonna keep these now continuing on with the shoe you have a cracked leather right here all black leather on the arm of the shoe and that's gonna be on both sides left and right and then on the front end you have a translucent kind of semi trans translucent that's going to be where your lace lock holes are going to go through on the front end of the shoe and on the back end of the shoe now this is kind of a little bit different of a switch up from the gray craft war because on those remember it was kind of like the yellow tone and it didn't really i, I guess it kind of like stood out a little bit but these ones they actually kind of blend in and align with the color blocking of the shoe a little bit more if that makes sense so i would say that kind of might be the only switch up for the most part but everything is pretty much identical to the gray craft fours that recently came out earlier in the year now these come standard with a pair of olive laces and there's no additional laces that come with the shoes as well i think for 210 bucks you could definitely get an extra pair of laces now continuing on with the tongue right here you have a hairy suede throughout the tongue you got your classic air jordan 4 patch right here in all black with your sail jump man and the white flight text just below that and then another iconic touch to the shoe your upside down air jordan patch right here on the back end of the tongue all black on the sock liner and then the same thing sale with the jump man and again on these no nike air you just got a jump man on the back tab this is actually more of a semi translucent as well more of kind of like that smoke black smoke kind of brownish undertone to it matching with the eye stays at the front of the shoe this is all going to be the same thing right here on the back so i like how they kind of kept that in unison and brought all that together even with the same color on the jump man instead of like doing the white making it pop out they brought the shoe together really nicely i think it's a solid shoe but again, $210 with all the sneakers that are coming out right now, and it's a craft series, and everybody's been on the fence about it. Me personally, I was like, yo, I need these in my collection. I made sure I got them. But I had a feeling they weren't going to sell out, and it should have been a pretty easy cop. And exactly what happened is what happened. So I ended up grabbing the shoe. Now I got these in the collection, and I don't think I'm letting these ones go. I think the gray ones, again, they're like cool grays and other stuff. I think other models are better than those. I got the Cause Fours. There's other models that I like over these. But I definitely like this green pair a lot. And again, I'm looking forward to the olive Air Jordan 5s. That might be a dope little pick putting those together as well. So let me know what you guys think about this shoe down below in the comment section when it comes to your purchase and experience. Did you buy the shoe? Did you not? How do you feel about the resale? What's going on with the shoe? What's, all, what's up with the market right now? Everything is just crazy. But besides all that, you know me. I'm always interested to see, do people even think this shoe is fire or do they think this shoe is trash? So I posted a poll on my Instagram story. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. Ask them a simple question, this is what they said. 61% of the people said fire and 39% of the people said trash. And that makes complete sense, I get it. Like I said, there's a lot of different reasons as to why somebody may not have wanted this shoe or doesn't like the design or whatever it may be. Either way, a lot of people love Air Jordan 4s. People have been loving Air Jordan 4s. I've been loving Air Jordan 4s for many a years, way before all this hype of Air Jordan 4s came around with TikTok and all the other things. Let me know what y'all think. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a great pickup. I'm glad I had these. I had to shoot a review for you guys. And if you want to see anything else and got any recommendations, hit the comment section down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, I'm out. I would never let you down. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I have a ton on the inside when it comes to my Sneakerhead Academy. It's an eight week program that breaks down everything when it comes to the inside and outs of the shoe game, learning the market and how to grow and scale your collection at the same time, or turn it into a hustle and getting a bunch of money if you'd like to do that as well. And if you wanna invest in the real estate, I have all the tips and tricks in live meetups where we do monthly meetups and everybody jumps in and we go over a call and we talk about different goals and aspirations that we have and how we can help each other get there. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit the link down below, get signed up. I would love to see you on the inside. It's the holidays right now, so we got a special going as well. All right, you guys, I'm out. Let's in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One of those. One I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.